Is there another coach out there that is looking behind their shoulder perhaps as the season gets underway? I mean, there's four or five coaches that I think if their teams don't play well, they have to be, they're going to have to be looking over their shoulders. I mean, probably one of them that you look at right now, at least right off the top, you know, just in my opinion, when you look at, I don't think anybody, if they get off to an 0-3 start, is, is endangered. Okay. But, but I do think that there's an incredible amount of pressure early on Jeff Fisher. Not that Jeff Fisher is going to get fired. They're actually talking to him about a contract extension, and it'll probably get done. But this will also be a situation where if they throw another sub-500 year up there, I think the fans are going to say, I mean, our patience is really worn thin. They're lucky that they're moving this year because had they been stay, had they stayed in St. Louis, I think he really would have been, you know, in trouble. I think the one other guy, for a different reason, who's going to be under some pressure this year, uh, and, and it's not firing pressure, but the guy who's going to be under some pressure this year is Jim Caldwell in Detroit. Jim Caldwell, right now, at least in my opinion, got. I ran into Bob Quinn on the training camp trail, the general manager of the Lions, and he said, there is no minimum number of wins that Jim Caldwell needs to keep his job. It's easy to say that in August. But in my opinion, you know, if they're sitting there 5-11 and 11 at the end of this year, it's going to be very hard for Caldwell to keep his job. Whether or not we like how the message is delivered, he's asking us to take a look at what we need to address in this country and to shed light on these issues. You know, I'm very grateful for him using his celebrity platform 